Good morning, I'm Steve from Quantumize, and you're watching the Quantumize Global AM Markets Preview, where it's all about uncomplicated investment, great data, and all the trades you'll ever need. And remember, everything's free. So let's get started. Today is April 26, 2019. I'm spending my morning looking at the relationship between stocks and volatility to better understand why the two of them are moving together. A theme discussed by strategists this morning is that the correlation between the VIX and the S&P 500 is very positive, and it usually means a sell-off in the S&P 500 is coming. I'm not sure I'm 100% buying that argument, but we've been biased to finding ways to help you lower your bid in your portfolio the last two weeks. The best ideas we've had to help you protect your portfolio focus on introducing quality dividend yield stocks like Duke Energy and buying out-of-the-money put spreads on SPY as a hedge, as long as implied volatility remains very cheap. Look, it isn't unrealistic to expect a pullback in the S&P 500 at some point after it's rallied nearly 17.5% to start the year. Just have to be smart about how to protect your gains. And I'm not sure we're going to really see a sell-off coming out of earnings over the next couple of weeks. Now let me tell you about some really important stock news you need to be following this morning. Intel reports earnings that were in line but slash forward guidance. Second quarter guidance is 5.5% below the street. Definitely would stay away from this one. Mattel posts first quarter sales and earnings that beat consensus handily on better than expected sales growth at Barbie and Hot Wheels. Microsoft reports fiscal third quarter EPS that beat market forecasts on the back of its Azure unit, which reports revenues growing 41% in the quarter. And finally, Amazon delivers first quarter earnings well above consensus, with its AWS sales growing roughly 41% year over year. Amazon is trading up in the pre-market right now as the straddle we pitched on CNBC last week is now in the money. Obviously, we're going to be closely following this one, but investors are going to be all over the cloud computing story coming out of both Microsoft and Amazon today, and this is probably going to be a theme for the next quarter or two. Definitely something worth tracking. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave a comment below, shoot us a tweet, or send us an email. Tell us what you think about the Global AM Markets Preview and what else you'd like us to include. I'm Steam from Quantumize, and you were just watching the Global AM Markets Preview here at Quantumize.